Hi and welcome to my random ruminations. I've got the flu, so this is going to be quick. But uh, Saturday I went to a shopping centre and I was reminded again of something that seems to be pretty rife in the Irish shopping fraternity or sorority or whatever you would describe it as. And that is that if a shop has any kind of exclusivity, by which I mean it deals with a particular segment of society, they take that as an opportunity to screw us with our pants on. And they don't even have the decency to use loop or cut the pants open. Yeah, so I've noticed that, and I'm not gonna name any shops here, but I'm sure you can fill in the blanks. Shops that carry computer components. Shops that carry things like modeling gear be it radio controlled aircraft or different types of clay, you know, anything to do with modeling or art for that matter, or I don't know, maybe shops that deal with pet supplies charge way more than the standard markup on materials or products to the Irish public. I wish I understood why, because I've been, let's put it this way, I've been to uh, hobby shops in the UK way back when, way back when being about six years ago, and they don't charge quite the insanity. Now, I know part of this will come from the fact that in Ireland, if you buy anything, it's probably been taxed about four times. But that doesn't explain all of it. What do I mean? Well, let's put it this way. My partner in crime once owned a florist. And florists are fairly exclusive, as in, by which I mean there's only a certain segment of society that will actually bother to buy flowers. And that may, and thus flowers are relatively expensive, but in comparison, there is no comparison. There are certain flowers, like say, roses, which are extraordinarily expensive for what they are. But you can still get a cheap posy for about 20 quid that will last you about a month if it's cared for properly and will look beautiful and will make your mammy very happy. Whereas there's very little excuse for the sheer cost of what certain shops are going to charge you. There is a computer component store near where I live here. It's actually on the same street. And I went in there and a cheap, well, what should be a really cheap 12 centimeter computer fan was about 28 euros. I've seen this same fan online for less than six. And even the biggest, well, most well-known components shop, which also does uh, electronics for radios and radio control stuff and kind of geeky stuff in general and starts with an M. I'm sure you can fill in the blanks. Even they, with their insanely inflated prices, which pretty much amount to whatever we charge in sterling, we double that number and turn it into euros, which of course is not how exchange rates work, but we'll leave that aside. Um, even they only charge about 12 euros for that particular fan. What is it with Irish shopkeepers? Now I'm going to go and die. So uh, I will talk to you all again on Thursday. Bye.